Hello, I'm James Pringle, Engineering Team Lead at PMA. Today I'm going to show how to configure ODK Collect using a QR code. QR codes are a way to store data as a picture. Sometimes QR codes are used for URLs, but here with ODK, QR codes are used to store all settings needed to configure ODK Collect, including the server URL. In my browser, I have logged into ODK Central as James DM, a project manager. In my emulator here on the left, I have opened PMA Collect, a customization of ODK Collect that is nearly identical in behavior. The QR code functionality is identical. So our first step is to get a QR code. In ODK Collect, the QR code configuration is in the Extras menu in the top right corner of the main menu. One thing to note is that this app's configuration is always available as a QR code in the QR code tab. As this phone's configuration changes, so does this QR code to reflect the current configuration. Usually, however, QR codes originate in ODK Central. First, log into ODK Central and click the project you are working in. Click the app users to see all app users on this project. Then click C code for the app user you want to configure as. I'm going to use the legacy QR code because I do not want to automatically send finalized forms. Any ODK Collect app that is configured with this QR code will be this app user. Once I have this QR code, there are multiple ways to configure ODK Collect with it. I can scan a QR code from a monitor showing this web page, or I can scan a projector screen showing this QR code, or I can scan from another ODK Collect app showing the QR code tab with the exact configuration I want. I can also import a QR code. and then I would choose a file from my phone's file system. One thing to note when using this method is that this QR code must either be the image file from ODK Central or it must be the file generated from sharing within ODK Collect. Importing a screenshot does not work. In my emulator I have projected the QR code onto a screen. Now my ODK Collect is configured. Back in ODK Central, we need to make sure that the app user has access to the correct forms from the Form Access tab. Then back in ODK Collect, I can get blank form and it works as expected to download forms from my project.